springtime in London, and crowds line the banks of the River Thames to watch the annual boat race. It's the greatest event in Britain's sporting calendar and offers ordinary people a chance to mingle with their social superiors as 16 privileged amateurs battle it out on the water. Cambridge won last time, but Oxford are confident of victory this year despite having the smallest cocks in the history of the race. But Cambridge are ready and proud and looking for another happy ending. The light blues will be stroked to the finish by J.C. McCallum, a Canadian. The Princess Margaret settles down into the umpire's launch and they get away smartly. But this year, working folk have one of their own to cheer. Mr. T. Hardacre, 35, a stevedore from Hull in East Yorkshire, won the chance to row against the elite crews after collecting coupons from 10,000 packets of his favourite cigarettes. His race doesn't get off to the best of starts when he misses the gun, and he soon finds himself 12 lengths behind. Her Royal Highness is not impressed. Up ahead, it's bow to bow. Cambridge have a slight lead, but that means very little yet a while. As they approach Hammersmith Bridge, Cambridge are still in command, but Oxford have a new concern. Mr. Hardacre has put in a terrific spurt and moves within two lengths. A hearty breakfast of eggs and stout has worked wonders for the Yorkshireman as he draws level with the dark blues at the two-mile post. And a minute later, he's through. As they approach the bandstand, the wind is getting up, but Cambridge is still looking strong. But Trevor Hardacre has caught a whiff of the brewery up ahead and redoubles his efforts. At Mortlake, there's nothing between them, and as they sprint for home, surely the eight men in light blue can hold off the challenge of one drunk man with emphysema. But no, as they cross the line, it's the Yorkshireman who wins by the width of a Welshman's cock. Here come Oxford buggered and beaten, and the first ever crew to come third in the boat race. And as Trevor Hardacre prepares to return to his northern slum, he says, well rowed, and thanks for having me.